Good morning, everybody. Good morning and welcome to the Real Estate Walk and Talk here. We're doing it inside the office here at JWB. And uh, today I want to talk to you a little about, about something that's really important to me. Um, I want to talk about my dad uh, and what he has meant to me. I was uh, talking to him yesterday and getting a text message this morning and you know he's always thinking about me and always trying to support. And So I wanted to say thank you to him and to all the other dads out there. Um, when I think about being raised by my dad, I think about him teaching me the importance of telling the truth. I think about him teaching me financial literacy at a young age. And I think, above all, he taught me how to be a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. <laughs> when we, before I could even go to a sports bar, they created a special section for my dad and I <laughs> where I could go and I couldn't go behind the bar, but I was like eight years old or 10 years old. And this was before direct TV and before you could actually watch, you know, your sports team. If it wasn't local, this was before then uh, you couldn't watch it in your house. You had to go to a sports bar or whatever. So my dad would take me to the sports bar at like eight and we would sit like in this far off corner. They would let me sit at where I could just catch a glimpse of the Steeler games back in the day. And I think about those times and that bond and that camaraderie. And, and I think about financial literacy and him teaching me about credit cards and him teaching me about how credit worked at a young age and, and just those conversations. And now I just think about how this is a, such a normal part of my life now um, and what a gift it was to have a father who, who shared those things, made that comfortable to talk about early on. And, um, and what a gift it is. And even more than that, my dad, you know, I grew up in a house where my, my mom and dad didn't live together. They were divorced. And it was, I lived with my mom and my sister. But as I think back about that, I just think about, you know, some kids go through that and they feel slighted or blame or uh, feel hurt by that situation. I'm sure I did at certain points, but I always felt like my dad loved me. He always made sure that my sister and I knew that he loved us and he supported us. And I think kids need to know that, and I think people need to know that, and, um, and that's, what I, that's what I think about when I think about my dad. So that's for you to share with the people that you know and love who need to hear that message. You know, go tell somebody that you love them. Go tell somebody that you support them, and do that constantly, and you build up this just really positive self-confidence in people. And I owe a lot of that to my dad, and I'm very thankful. Um, and I know my dad's excited about joining us on our show today. We're going to be doing the Not Your Average Investor show on Tuesday. It's at 1230, and we're going to be interviewing one of my dad's all-time favorite guests. <laughs> so my dad is a big Penn State football fan, grew up in Pittsburgh, rooted for Penn State, still roots for Penn State. And then today on the Not Your Average Investor show, we get to interview former Penn State All-American, uh, former NFL player for 13 years in the league, um, and even more impressive now is an extremely successful financial advisor, lawyer, and private lender. This is Kyle Brady, who we're going to be inter interviewing today. Kyle's a friend and a client of JWB. And he's going to be talking about his business, private lending, and we're going to be talking about the differences between private lending and owning rental properties, and why you should be doing either or both, or none right? Why it works and then what you can do with those types of investments. And so today at 1230, we're going to be interviewing Kyle. I hope you'll join us. Uh, the link is in the description and um, we're going to have a ball. So we'll see you guys there. Go tell somebody that you love them. Go tell somebody that you support them and do it every day. And, uh, and I appreciate all you guys. Have a wonderful day. Hey, Trish, how are you doing? Thank you guys for joining. We've got a couple people walking with me this morning. And I uh, appreciate you guys as well. Have a wonderful day.